Larry Green. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic. We've been in this community since 1966. We have 270 plus uh, committed employees. Uh, we value the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic Foundation uh, primarily because it supports other programs where we don't have any other resources uh, to put forth uh, to get the job done. Uh, the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic Foundation is key to making this community a better place. Uh, the foundation works hand in hand with our uh, programs uh, within the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic continuum. Uh, they fill the gaps necessary uh, to uh, meet the needs of children, adults, and those uh, that are less fortunate than many. Hi, I'm Kent Matter, and I'm the Director of Children's Services here at West Yavapai Guidance Clinic, and I just wanted to take a few moments here today to express how important the foundation dollars that come to our children's department have been to our team and to the children and families that we serve. Uh, a lot of the activities we do with um, children and families involve getting them out and doing natural activities. A lot of times children uh, will and teenagers in particular will open up and, and, and share and work on their problems more naturally in environments that are more natural to them, whether it be a shopping mall or a hiking trail or a lake. Unfortunately, a lot of times those type of activities um, involve some money. And so whether it's one of our counselors picking up a child after school and being able to buy them a soda at the mall while they walk around the mall and talk and, and maybe uh, visit the children's museum that's there or uh, the library or, or other you know, kind of productive activities. Uh, those kind of activities requ usually require money and so a lot of times we've ch channeled some of the funds in that direction. But also um, we often sit down with these children that are having particular challenges, maybe they've had traumas in their lives or they're struggling with a certain type of mental health diagnosis, and we pull their, the important people together that are important in their lives and their counselors, their teachers, their parents and so forth, and we all try to get creative and problem solve, and that time sometimes involves creative ideas of things that, that, are, that the family feels passionate about or the child feels passionate about, like a child that you know loves animals, whether we could somehow um, invest some money and uh, foster a relationship with a horse at Horses with Heart, we work with them, or at the zoo, the Heritage Zoo. Again, those things sometimes take some money, whether it's riding boots or classes to uh, guitar lessons. All of these types of kind of creative endeavors usually have some money attached to them, and those are the kind of things we just have really appreciated the foundation I've been working with the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic on both of their boards, their governance board and their foundation board, for several years now, and I expect that I will continue to do so for several more years. I once asked somebody who was a professional fundraiser how they convinced people to give money as part of their legacy giving in their wills. Because I said, you know, I've always thought I would leave all my money to my children. And he said, if my children are in such bad shape that they need 5% or 10% of whatever I leave in my estate, then I haven't raised them properly. And I thought about that, and I realized that most of my money will go to my children. But I wanted to leave a legacy also as to what I've committed my time to with the guidance clinic for all of these years, what I believe in in terms of what they do here. They've been around for more than 45 years. The, from being on the governance board, I have enormous respect for how this clinic is run, and I expect that it will continue to be run this way in the future. And so. I am very proud to be a legacy member of the Guidance Clinic. My name is Barbara Barker. I'm a uh, member of the West Yavapai Guidance Clinic Foundation Board. 
I'm also a graduate of the Chemical Dependency Unit at West Chavapai Guidance Clinic. This program saved my life. I had a long, long history of drug use and alcoholism, and I think a lot of the times women are able to stay under the radar when we're not the main breadwinners in our family. I ended up on advanced life support. My body was just simply worn out from the abuse that it had taken uh, for over 30 years. I was in, um, I had a heart attack, I had two strokes. I also was on dialysis, I had chest tubes, I was on a ventilator for five days. I nearly died. When it was suggested to me that I enter West Javapai Guidance um, Hillside uh, Division, I, I resisted because that's what we do. We're addicts, we're alcoholics. And I'd already been through rehab four times, so this would have been my fourth episode. And I finally realized that I had to know what they knew that made them happy, productive individuals, things that had seemed to be out of my reach for many, many years of my life. I found myself self-sabotaging, and it was obvious to me that God wasn't going to let me die, and as far as I was concerned, my life was hell on earth. I went into West Yavapai with an open mind and a notebook. I needed to know what these people knew. I graduated in 2008 and am pleased, happy, and proud to report that I have been clean and sober ever since. We provide services for people with serious mental illness. Um, and uh, several years ago, the state of Arizona cut funding for this population. So for all of those people with serious mental illness who did not qualify for our state Medicaid for access insurance, they lost many of their services, including therapy services, case management services, transportation services. And the only thing that they received was psychiatric care, um, generic medications, and nursing services. Uh, when that happened, the foundation funded a case management position. It was, it was one position um, to help manage and oversee the needs of this population. This is a vulnerable population who need ongoing care. So the foundation funded the position um, and we were able to provide services that other art, um, agencies were not able to provide. West Javapai Guidance Clinic is a 501c3 not-for-profit corporation uh, that has operated in this community since 1966. Uh, West Javapai has contracts, for example, with the state of Arizona, with private insurance companies, and there are many unmet needs that the West Javapai Guidance Clinic Foundation comes into play then. Uh, with those unmet needs, the West Javapai Guidance Clinic Foundation helps to fill the gaps uh, where the needs are necessary to, to make a difference. My body.